Yep, we just sit and watch. That's a good boy, Bruno. Hi, bird birds. You guys want to come over here and eat the bugs? Thanks for helping clean up. Here, I'll take it. You don't have to bury it. I'll take it, okay? That's a good boy, Bruno. Such a good boy. You're such a good boy, you're so cute. That's a good boy. Yep, nope, this is normal. <laughs> this is normal. Well, that that's about the silliest little display you've ever put on. It's like crumbs, dude. There's nothing in there. Hey guys, welcome back to k and Get Out. The work continues. If you saw our last video, you know we cut down some trees, made our piles bigger, but check this out. Our little helpers that you hear singing in the background, we're pretty close to their evening grazing, so they're gonna let us know about it the whole time. It's kind of like a choir that just doesn't know what they're singing. They're not even looking over here. They just like to talk to us. They're just talking to us. Ah, but guys, look at this, okay? This was Wednesday that we cut this down. That big tree right there that was pretty decent sized, smaller one here, and the little red bud over there. Those are the leaves you see up there. Look how many of the leaves the goats have taken care of for me. I know there's still some leaves there, but if you go back and look at that video, those guys are awesome. I let them out to graze after I cut this down. You guys get to see a little bit of that. They stayed in that tree the whole time. The next time I brought them out to graze, they stayed in that tree 75% of the time. And I think we're up to four outings, five outings. I lose count. I lose count. But it's only been three days and that is how much work they've done. Which is awesome because I don't necessarily want all the leaves in that when I'm trying to limit and it saves me money on hay. There you go. Here's another challenge we've got today. Yep, Mr. Bruno. This he's is a big helper. He's a what? He's a big helper. Big helper, that's a good word for it. He just turned four months old yesterday, officially, on the books. 
that's a young puppy still. But we work with him a lot. He has had to have the e-collar on a little bit because the guy can get a little defiant and be, you know, a puppy. But we're gonna continue working on working while he's out here. We've gotta get him acclimated to machines running. So I got the tractor warming up. The chainsaw is out again. And we're gonna try, I, I wanna clean this up as much as I can before we continue on taking down more of these trees and more of the clearing. Just kind of helps to clean as you go because otherwise I can overwhelm myself with way too big of a pile. And we have a designated spot for burning and putting limbs and stuff like that now, so. You got a white shirt on underneath that? Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> that farmer tan's on point, babe. I know, and now it's like the sun's not even out, but yeah. it's okay. You got your license to have Shut those out, out in public? Shut up. <laughs> So I got a couple of helpers. We're gonna try to get this done before we gotta get the goats out. I did get a random notification that we may have a thunderstorm coming in. I thought we were supposed to have blue skies the rest of the day, but it just does what it does out here. All right, we're gonna get to it. And I'm gonna wreck everything. I bet you are. Brunosaurus Rex, right there. Brunosaurus Rex everything. That's right. His foot, by the way, from the snake bite. If you can see that, there it is right there. He's doing great, he's healing great. No swelling, no change in any of his normal functions. Healing like a champ. Nice safety glasses. Hey, thanks. Actually, a viewer sent us these and I love them. Of course, the sun went away, so, you know. But yeah, these are really nice and very yep. light. So thank you, whoever sent those. <laughs> I wear both pair. I might let Shannon wear them one day, I don't know. Speaking of our viewers, somebody in the comments, a few of you actually asked about why I have all these stumps sticking so high up out of the ground. I won't leave them that way. Sorry, I thought I heard rain. I well, it is thundering. I won't leave them that way, but my number one reason for doing that is safety. When I'm cutting them down, I wanna try and be as comfortable as I can, but I also wanna be ready once I make my cuts and the tree's gonna start to fall to get away. If I'm down here trying to do one of these numbers, I'm more liable to trip or you know, I just, I don't have the angle that I need. So I like to do it at a nice comfortable position, especially when I'm doing my back cut, just be about right here. And then I'll go back through, cut those down, but they're a whole lot easier to find when you leave them quite a ways up out of the ground instead of just cutting them down and stubbing your toe on them all the time. Well, the other thing too, with leaving them as high as they are, is you can use the tractor later to push the stumps out and you don't have to grind them out or cut them lower. If I can get them out, yeah, I can try. Well, yeah. So yeah. That's just for the initial cut, but then no, I will not leave them like that indefinitely, for sure. I think I do hear some raindrops coming down, so. I'll Never fails. Fired up and then the rain's gonna come. It might be a little refreshing. It's silly humid right now.
Okay, mister. You know you're not supposed to be in here. Seriously, man. I'm going to make you a, a sandbox to dig in. You are ridiculous. You know you're not supposed to be in here. it out you know yeah I'm not gonna lie the rain feels really good it really does it was so humid right before it started I'm sweating through I mean I'm not sweating this is all just rainwater <laughs> it's refreshing but I don't like having my chains out in the rain if I can avoid it because I've had to recover some with a lot of WD-40 before so can we, is there something else we can do that doesn't involve chainsaw yeah I think I can I'll put this log back down Throw these rounds out of the way. I can maybe work on pushing the big brush pile up the hill. Okay. There's a lot of stuff in there that I do want to cut up into rounds, but I can do that, you know, if they get left behind while I'm pushing, because it's going to take a lot of stabs. Realistically, the pallet forks may be better for it, but this kind of helps keep some of the longer stuff out from under and jabbing into the tractor. Okay. That's how I hopped the uh, tire off the wheel the very first time. <laughs> watch what's going into your wheel it'll push the tire off. Here's the sun. While it's raining. Welcome to Missouri, where you get the best of both worlds. Sometimes. That's sunshine and rain. All at the same time. It's beautiful. Slightly annoying when you're getting stuff done, but I love it. What a good boy. Basically what Kyle just did was make some relief cuts on this pile right here so that he could push it and not be in as dangerous of a position with the guard wire here. So hopefully this helps. And it's raining like even harder now. <laughs>
Your birds came to help. Yeah. The rain lightened up a little bit and the goats started yelling again. So I bet you're really wishing you had the cover on your tractor right now, aren't you? She's so funny. I don't think that would... Uh, it would keep your seat dry. It, it might help with that. The rain is coming straight down. It was letting up for two seconds. The goats came out, cried at us. The birds were coming down the hill. And I was like, oh yeah, look, it's lightening up. We'll be totally fine. Here we are. It's like pouring rain. Okay, it's not pouring, but it's raining pretty good. It's, uh, yeah, you'll be soaked in a matter of minutes. Yeah. If that. You guys are really gonna get the sound effects of the rain because I'm <laughs> gonna stand in her umbrella while Kyle continues to do the pushing on the tractor. He's already soaking wet, so might as well keep going, right? Are my pants wet? Just a little bit. <laughs> my seat holds water. So I'm fine with a lot of this being left behind and I'm not gonna get it all in one pass at all. Okay. And what I was thinking was, maybe not with the ground muddy, but whatever's left behind, I could come back through with a rake and just pull it up the hill and see how that does. Okay. I don't know. That's worth a shot. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I figure at this point I'm already soaking wet, so what, I, I'm just gonna get wetter. Might as well keep going. Make progress. the bird birds out in the woods talking to me you guys it is pouring down rain right now i feel really bad for kyle because he is going to be soaked 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 It does look a lot better. I mean, all things considered, I got a whole lot more in that load than I thought I was going to. I have to agree with that. I'm with you on that. Again, the umbrella is on you and everything coming off the back is just rolling <laughs> down my back. I don't know what to do. It's okay. I'm quite literally soaked. So, yeah. But yeah, that, uh, that feels a whole lot better. It looks a whole lot better. Yeah. I think on a little bit less rainy day, I could very easily wrap that up. We didn't know it was gonna rain today. This just kind of popped up. We would have started a whole lot earlier had we known. I blame Hercules somehow. I blame Bruno. Bruno. You're just a little bit wet, babe. I don't know if I would be this wet even if I stood in the shower. <laughs> fully closed, which I've never done. But like my back is, I'm, yeah, it's perfect. But I gotta be honest, I didn't anticipate getting all of that to stay together and go up the hill like that. Maybe it was the rain, maybe because it was wet, it was all just like, Ugh. There you go, that's a great theory. Optimism at its finest. Yeah. Well, we're filming a day earlier than we normally do because we got a little DOS family gathering tomorrow with everybody. Somebody's birthdays birthday and an anniversary. There's a whole lot of stuff coming up here at the latter part of May and beginning of June. So I'll see if I can turn the camera on for a split second there and let you see the good old DOS interaction. But we're looking forward to that. We always love family time and we can all get together and celebrate and hang out. How many DOSs does it take to cut down a tree? 
One. <laughs> I'm just here to brush dogs. <laughs> I'm, no, I'm no help with anything legit. Hop uppers, I know you smell mine, don't you? Ten bucks is you know, I, Girls, I cannot guarantee this one. I'll go backwards. It's all in the release. Very valid point. Well, uh, a boom! <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. All right. oh, that's, that's terrible. You're horrible. <laughs> you threw a hammer at him. <laughs> I just pick a boo, man. Okay. What, if he, what if he threw like a, a baseball? Instead of... He only grew up playing softball. Oh, that's true. <laughs> you think it's the boots? Yeah, he went to nationals. <laughs> <laughs> Won twice in a row. Come on. Special, back to your special division. Days. <laughs> yeah, church softball league was tough. Man. Those pastors were Mom. hardcore. <laughs> only on the weekends. Okay. <laughs> Here, let me hold on to you. Man, how do you 6'4 your whole life and come up short twice? <laughs> Can't you just dunk that? <laughs> do you need the short one of this? <laughs> I'll show you. <laughs> your hammer's not long enough. <laughs> Man, you've been dreaming about this day. And <laughs> you are we ain't there. cutting crap today. I don't worry, nobody watches your videos. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, well, your, rope, your rope is actually bringing the hammer back down. Bringing the hammer down. <laughs> I don't know. Wait, is there another idea? Somebody got something. I like just came that? out here to make fun of you. I have no skills. I would have already started cutting. That's it. Ooh. Oh, Ooh. so close. Ready? You yeah. gotta, How hard do you think you'll throw that? You gotta let go. You ready? Are you counting to three? <laughs> on wait, on, on three? three or after two? On three. At the end of when three. When you say three, I'm throwing. Three at <laughs> One. Two. Way ahead of you. Oh. Well, it kind of works. <laughs> That'll do it. It almost works. <laughs> All right, so perfect. Yeah, I'm going to pull it this I, way. I got a question. Tenet, can't you walk around the tree, though? They got You can just walk them. around, it'll tie off. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, sure. I, I wouldn't stand just under fall. that hammer, though. <laughs> you had a good tug. <laughs> <laughs> the dog's looking scared of what you're doing now. <laughs> I gotta get the, don't I have to get the hammer down? I mean, the hammer's gonna come down when we cut it. It's a two so and a half dollar oh, hammer. I put the yeah, hammer down, damaged. I gotta grab that hammer. <laughs> That took way too long. <laughs> Unfortunately, the weather didn't play nice with us this time around. It sure didn't. You just need a step to stand on permanently. I need a permanent step stool everywhere I go. Well, I guess now we go down and cuddle with some wet goats. I really hope this will let up here in the next half hour or so, because they'll still come out and graze. Hurts out in the rain. Well, when it started really picking up, he went in his house. Yeah, but he was just sitting out on the hurt cut. Yeah. It's very peaceful. It's very beautiful. It just hinders a lot of progress, and it's quite all right. Yeah. If we're blessed with tomorrow, there's always tomorrow. There's always tomorrow. It's one day at a time. Yeah. Well, we had a lot of fun with the family. Always good to get recharged. It's good to poke at each other and get the sense of humors rolling again. <laughs> always love the birthday celebration. Any gathering we can get together. It's a good time. I'm going to go in, get a towel, 
dry off, change clothes, and come sit and just watch the rain. I'm going to sit out here on the steps you built. Thank you. You're welcome. And watch the rain because I'm still pretty dry. All right. Well, guys, we love and appreciate each and every one of you. We hope you had a wonderful Memorial Day weekend. We thank you for coming on this journey with us. And as always, we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.